I jumped out of all here, and today we've got a Reading Your Doomstack video covering a Exiles of Nehek Hyro Titan Doomstack going up against the, uh, the Nagaron forces where they've got four armies here. Some of the forces are pretty bad, but there's a lot of, lot of monsters in here and that's going to be tricky to deal with, especially the flying monsters. Now, just talking a little bit about this Doomstack before we get into the battle, there's a lot of strengths and weaknesses to this particular build. So, first big weakness is that this is not an early game army, obviously. This is barely even a late game army. This is like super late game army to get this many uh, Hyro Titans. Because each one of them is going to need either a tier 5 construct building or a, a uh, Necrotect that's leveled up to increase the capacity of the Hyro Titans. So it's going to take a while to get something like this. So you're not going to get loads of them. Uh, second thing uh, is that this is on the Vortex campaign and he's completed the Vortex missions which gives him regeneration for all units faction wide. That's one of the uh, the perks of playing the, the Tomb Kings on the Vortex. Now you can't get this on Mortal Empires. So if you're looking at this thinking, oh I'm going to get this on Mortal Empires, you can't get that particular bonus. Now that doesn't mean it's weak because I can't get that, but it's stronger on the Vortex than it is on Mortal Empires. Also he's using three wizards in one army, or four I guess if you include Katep. Um, one of each wizard, so that just means that one wizard can't be attached into some other army, which is fine. Now, um, let's just fight the battle and see what we can do. So, people have asked me before about uh, construct compositions, like when you should build up your armies, uh, whether or not you should mix the constructs, you know, get a few Necro Sphinxes, get a few Cambrian War Sphinxes, a couple of Hyro Titans, that kind of stuff. And from my experimenting with it, I actually think it's better to just spam them all into one army each. So, build one army of Necro Sphinxes, one army of of Chemian War Sphinxes, one army of Hyro Titans, and just put them all in there. That way you can get the general skills to just boost that specifically. And um, if you want to have something else reinforced, you just you use two armies to, to have them complement each other. Um, so this one here lacks a lot of speed, but it makes up for it in loads of staying power and just tons of magic because every Hyro Titan acts as like an arcane conduit generating more winds of magic and winds of magic power reserve They're actually more like a greater arcane conduit because it's constantly active so very good for generating loads of magic so what i'm going to do here is hmm what am i going to do there's two options for us we could park ourselves here and try to take out their reinforcements now here's the thing because we're up against four armies these reinforcements only about a quarter of them are going to show up at the beginning of the battle right so we're going to knock them off and then a couple more will come in but basically we'll only get through about half of their army before this main army arrives and when they arrive and start taking casualties then we'll, they'll have reinforcements coming in directly behind us which is really bad uh, but I would also like to make use of the trees to hide the wizards. Now, I don't think that's going to be viable in this situation since they've got flyers and, and like, uh, cold one nights. They're going to be trying to flank us and all kinds of stuff. So, even if we, like, hold a line here, they're still going to be able to detect us. So, the other option is coming over to about here. That way, it takes them the longest possible time from all positions to get to us and also their reinforcements. So, neither of the positions are 100% ideal, but I'm going to go with this, because that'll give us better use out of our magic, I think. Because otherwise I'm just going to be playing constantly run around with the uh, wizards trying to keep them out of combat, which is a pain in the ass. It's a lot easier if you've only got one of them, uh, but then again, you get less casts. <coughs> now, I think this army would be better as well if we didn't have a death wizard. Um, either get one more horror titan or just get a different wizard. I just don't think death magic... I think it's the worst one for this... Um, for this faction. Anyway, let's uh, stand here. They'll detect us right away. Since we can't route, it's not a bad idea to go at the edge of the map so that when their units route, they can just go off the battlefield without getting a chance to rally. I'm going to use the Light Wizard first because its banishment spell is the cheapest out of the Vortex, apart from Pit of Shades, which doesn't necessarily do as much damage. So they want to get their forces together first, and that's totally fine. Oh, hang on. Back off, back off. Change your plans, change your plans. Alright, here's what we're going to do. Um, I am going to use the Bound Shem's Burning Gaze on the Ravages of Rakar. They're way more deadly than the Raven Heralds.
some of those shots will be wasted, but truth be told, I probably won't end up using most of them anyway. It's just free casts. Okay, that's it. Come in over here. Did they all cast? Seems like it. Alright, cool. Get, just get rid of them. Alright, now, gotta get over there. That's not gonna hurt us. Those are a big concern, because they're quite fast. Speed 84, they can outrun us. But if it chases after us, I can net a and talk them. Alright, see there, that's the benefit. They just run off the battlefield right away. Spirit Leech is also fairly good against them, but we won't have within range. Okay. So yeah, they want to get organized, and I want to slaughter them. They're going to walk into that. Yeah, that's alright. we got also got the bounce spell as well. Just want to soften them up before they even get here. I think we're going to walk into that. Oh, move, 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 move. Dodged. And you can see we've already got the 30 wins of magic back. Uh, that one didn't quite move where I wanted it to. And that's it. Just while they're on the approach, use the magic. And this is the intended way of playing this, this army. It's specifically built around using magic. Oh my god, he's cheating with the wizard again. This is how it's built, okay? Got heaps of winds of magic. This is how the army's built. Oh, got hit there. And let's just hope that actually moves towards them. Oh, they're actually kind of avoiding that. Oh, that's a shame. It's a bit of a waste, that one. Got a few kills, I think. They can see where we are, so... I don't know, they're just dicking around a bit. I don't want to bring all of the wizards over here. Although, maybe the Shadow Wizard might have been a better choice. It's good. Wasting their wins as well. You know what, I think I might actually use the Shadow Wizard. Just because I can put down Pit of Shades, which is a bit cheaper on Archer units, because the Missile units are going to be the biggest concern here, not their melee infantry. Did you know, a little bit of a... I don't know if it's a screw up by CA, but the Shadow Wizards all have the symbol of Nehekara on them, not the Shadow... Uh, magic symbol. So yeah, it's just a bit cheaper. Okay, can we do some more Shims burning gaze on them? Not yet. Kind of silly how they'll all aim at the exact same one. It would be good if we actually picked a random um, chariot or a random entity in any particular army, because that way you can select them all and just attack one target, and they'll got a good chance of just hitting a lot of different units rather than just all hitting one unit. It'll just make them a bit better. I'm probably not pretty much not even going to use death magic. It's more expensive. Doesn't last as long. I don't see the point. Yeah, probably a lot easier to cast once they're actually a bit more stationary. Yeah, that wasn't great. Don't move out of the way. 
I'm getting so many shit casts in. Good thing I got tons of magic. And looks like they're trying to shoot the wizards. So keep them back a little bit. We really need to get rid of their missile units. By far the most deadly things. These guys here just need to protect them. Somebody needs to stand over here. Protect the wizards. That's a good ability, that one. No, don't use that. Heroes are trying to get to us as well. Get a couple of guys over here. Protect us. Certainly taking a lot of damage. Got to get rid of the uh, the missile units. They're the ones doing all the damage. This guy here is taking too much damage. Get him back. He needs a bit of time to heal. We've also got Katep's ability to heal, but I just don't want him to get him too close because they're targeting him. Come on. You need to get back over here so they stop targeting you. Worst of it's happening right now because of the murderous prowess. So we just gotta try to get for that to be over. Problem is these guys get so stuck. Come on, get back here. Slow poke. Most of their units here at the moment are just about gone. So, our regen rate's starting to slow down a fair bit now. Okay, I might just need to get this guy off the battlefield. Or else he's going to get wiped out. Start pulling all of these guys closer over here. Gotta kill their lords, because they're just trying so hard to kill our wizards. Stay protected, because you can regen, we just need to give him some time. Oh man, so many of them. Still trying really hard to kill Katep, which can't blame them. That's what I do in this situation too. So. 
I'm using a lot of shadow magic here. Alright, move these guys back up. Oh, this one's so badly damaged. Move back, move back. Here's not in any danger of dying. Oh shit. Oh wow, look at that bounce of power. Drop down. I have a feeling that if we had auto resolved this, we wouldn't have won. It's not over yet. Not over yet. And none of our guys have died yet, either. Okay, we could also do a boost of buff spell, but I think damage spells are far more useful given how much infantry they've got. Scourge Runner Chariots are dangerous, but they're quite susceptible to a Spirit Leech. And I'm glad they just came straight into melee with us. Okay, seems like there's going to be a bit of a break in the fighting, which benefits us the most. If I can get all my guys back together soon, we could get a bit more of a heal in. Right, so they want to recollect their forces and come back at us. That's totally fine. Let them go have a break. It benefits us way more than it benefits them to have a, a bit of a break from the fight. I don't realize how worn out we were. Come on, get rid of it. Good shit. Alright, everyone get together for a nice big group hug. So they're regenerating right now. Uh, I reckon if this was on Mortal Empires, we probably would have, we definitely would have lost a couple of them. Uh, maybe not even win the battle. Still unsure about whether we're gonna win, but I tell you what, that regen's really coming in handy. Come all together. All right, everyone gets it. Yeah, <laughs> it's just a godsend that they decided to take a bit of a break from the fighting. Alright, we got 30 wins of magic again, so I'm going to send the the Shadow Wizard. See, it says Lich Priest Nehekara, but it's a Shadow Wizard. Just give them some time to regenerate, and you watch, as as their health gets back up, obviously the bounce power will improve. And this is on very hard battle difficulty. I think the campaign is on a uh, very hard campaign as well. Just not legendary. Yeah, there's still, still a good portion of them around. Ugh. Yeah, I can kind of see why they thought that they should wait for these guys. That's going to be annoying for us to deal with. Magic's not going to be very useful against that. Oh, I think I pretty much missed there. It is, it got some damage. Anything that we can do to thin them out will be good. I think putting the health potions on these guys might be a bit redundant. Come on, come on. That's actually could be a good cast to get stun locked. Alright, here they come. Alright, bounce power improved just a little bit. Ah, oh, stupid horses getting stun locked. Come on, move, move, move. Out of reserves now. Of 
Yeah, this next bit here is going to be tough. A lot of missile units coming in, even if they're not that armor piercing. And they're all coming at us all at once. Come on, move, 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 move. No, no, no. Actually, I shouldn't have done that. Shouldn't have done that. Crap, crap, crap. I should have aimed for the dragon instead. Come on, come on. Get out of there. Just got stun locked. Go, go, go. Try and help him out. Okay, get the other wizards over here. Well, I think I screwed up with this one. I just can't get him out. And I can't get Katep out either. He got boned. This is actually a really hard fight, even with this army being as strong as it is. I just, I can't get out of there. Get them back. I think, yeah, this guy here is gone. He's immortal, so it'll be okay. And Katep. Looks like we're going to win the battle. That that blob there is amazing. Oh, look, look, look. Quick. Get him off the battlefield. Run, run, run. Because there's no more regen for him. I don't want to get Katep off, though. But if I have to, I will. I'm probably going to have to. In order to win, uh, in order to make sure that Katep doesn't get, you know, totally annihilated. Look at this. All right, just keep him there for now. They're not targeting him at the moment, but they're really targeting these wizards. Shit! That's the end of our wins. Alright, well then, how about you run out this way? Hopefully, oh, no, no, no. <laughs> I can't get out that way. I don't have enough reserves. Come on, I need that army losses. We've got the bounce of power. I just don't want to lose any units. Looks like we're going to. It's just, it's just a lot to go up against. I got no more wins now. That's not going to do anything. I got to get the wizards off the battlefield. They've done, they've done all that I can with them. Otherwise, they're just going to get wounded. Got basically no more spells left anyway. No, 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 just, just leave, 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 leave. Alright, so now we'll just focus on whatever bounce spells we've got left. And there's the army losses. Alright, I think one of our Hyro Titans died. I think just one of them. Because there was one that was really badly damaged and then it just sort of disappeared from the queue. I just don't see it there. Yeah, there it is. Oh, that was a tough fight. The army's good, without a doubt. I mean, we did take a casualties, but that that's a tough army to go up against. A really tough army. Very few doomstacks in the game would be able to handle that. So all the wizards survived. Didn't get any like amazing spell casts though. They just didn't blob up enough for us to do that. Um, shame about that one Haro Titan that just couldn't survive just a little bit longer. But yeah, okay, so in rating this army, let's have a think about it. So it's really inconvenient to recruit. Uh, it's slow, which that's fine. It's good, really good for magic. So I'm leaning towards giving it a 9 out of 10. The way he's developed it up is pretty good. What I, The only thing I'd do is probably take out the healing items out of the uh, out of the wizards. Just because 
it just isn't really needed when they've got that much regen. Um, but I suppose also I should give it a separate rating for if this was a Mortal Empires, because that wouldn't have done as well. Uh, so I'd probably go, if it's on the Vortex campaign, you've completed the Vortex mission, it's probably 9 out of 10. But if you've gone to Mortal Empires, I'd give it 8.5 out of 10. Now, in my opinion, the best army Doomstack to go for as the Tomb Kings is actually the um, uh, Tomb Scorpion army, where you just have um, Lord, one Necrotect, and the rest Tomb Scorpions. You don't even need a wizard. And the reason why that's great is because you can have your wizards in other armies, because you get a limited number of them. And you can get a full stack of, of Tomb Scorpions fairly early on in the campaign. And by the late campaign, you can end up having like four of them. So they're really convenient. Uh, and they win against pretty... Unless you get totally like overwhelmed and end up going up against something like the High Elves and they have Phoenix Spam. Um, they do really well. So if you go up against Skaven, the... Uh, the um, the uh, What's it called? The... The Tomb Scorpion army basically annihilates Skaven, unless they bring nothing but, say, Doom Wheels and uh, Hell Pit Abominations and Brood Horrors. It's not great against monsters. Uh, but yeah, the Hero Titan spam that we just saw there, very good. Just, you're not going to get that early. Like, look at this, turn 217. Like, let's just have a look. What's his capacity for them? By this point? Yeah. So, we, he was at the maximum capacity as it was um and these wizards yeah this one here wasn't immortal oh no 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 he is immortal because i get their immortality at rank 12 sorry sorry i just gotta move all these different things yeah i'm gonna give it nine point sorry nine out of ten if it's on vortex 8.5 if it's on if it's on mortal empires but yeah very strong army but that was really tough enemy to deal with as well all right that's the end of this one here guys hope you enjoyed it hope you learned something and i'll see you next time appreciate you fuckers bye